Hi everyone, I'm Andy from Jurong East Investor Center. Hi, I'm Elijah from Jurong East Investor Center. Okay, so today welcome to our Ask Me Anything. We have Elijah here. And uh, today, uh, what we're we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about what are the common mistakes that millennials make when they intend to start to invest. Okay, so what are the money mistakes uh, the millennial always make? Okay, uh, I do see quite a lot of millennials actually mm. spend uh, without a thought as to where money is going to come from tomorrow. So you can say that they will have gotten used to a certain level of spending. So after that, I find that every time salary goes up, I see a lot of millennials mm -hmm. spend a bit more. This is not saying everyone does that, but I see a kind of pattern. So, you know, um, Really, if you want to find money to invest, you should actually, you know, when your salary goes up, you should try and spend the same amount. And then you have money to invest. And and okay. I see that happening quite often. I mean, when you look at uh, Starbucks, okay, I see a lot of millennials out there studying. And, and uh, this isn't really the case when, you know, when we waste our time. Mm, yeah, right? Yeah, maybe times are a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... So I think uh, when we, we when we come to spending, you know, most of the time, uh, if let's say, uh, you know, for, for our generation, maybe we will drink the one dollar plus coffee, yeah. and once in a while we drink the Starbucks coffee. Okay, but uh, for us, right? Okay, for me, right, as a bird, you know, when I'm meeting somebody, I'm doing my business, but you know, I will go to the Starbucks. Okay, uh, but if talk about daily, you know, like a normal. Or just a breakfast, maybe we just go for the coffee shop. The coffee yeah. shop, coffee lah. So okay, so when it comes to investment, right? Okay, when it comes to investment, how can you know? Uh, how can the like saving of the, the 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 amount you save help you in your investment? So well, okay, put it this way. Um, I actually had some met someone who wanted to invest, and she mm -hmm. was very eager, or at least the enthusiasm was there. But actually, um. I found that even though she's earning a decent amount, but she's just spending it all on eating out and things like that. Mm. And um, weekends she'll go hang out, have those brunches, cafe hop. Well, I do understand the need to actually have a bit of a relaxation, but if you're doing it regularly, it becomes an ingrained habit and then you'll never break the mold. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. investing does demand a little bit of sacrifice. Okay, so mm. long, long time ago, right? Okay, I actually, you know, uh, read about all this uh, you know personal finance thing. I'm one of yeah. the guy who saved most of my money. Yeah, that's, okay, good. So, that's good. That's okay. Good. So one of the rule that I think most people have is the pay yourself first. Yes, that's absolutely right. Okay, can you explain what, what this pay yourself first? Okay, is so about? pay yourself first is to ensure that every time your salary comes in, mm. you've got to set a portion aside. It doesn't matter what it's for, but just set it aside. Make sure it's you're committed to putting that amount of money away first. What you want to do with it can always come later. So just make sure you just do it because then it becomes a habit. It's like if you drink Starbucks every day, it becomes a habit. Some people drink bubble tea every day. So can you imagine every month you just make a habit to set aside three, four hundred, five hundred dollars, just not touch it. And then you'll be amazed at after one year how much you can start to utilize to deploy to invest. Now I myself, I, I also pay myself first. Um, frankly speaking, I did some calculations mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I've been tracking my own expenditure. And actually then I invest on average twice as much as I spend. In other words, if I spend 1000 that month, I actually more like investing up to 2000 a month. Instead of, so so I, my, my investment expenditure is actually higher than my personal expenses. Okay, and, 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 and I know it's a lot of sacrifice and not everyone should be like me but that's how I got myself started yeah. and that's how I intend to keep it up because I mean if it's important enough to you you will make a sacrifice to go and get it okay but most of the people you know probably they are watching this video they will say hey, uh, investment there is risk man. yes yeah. there is risk but there are also ways to mitigate the risk mm -hmm. so it matters how you construct your portfolio and ensure that you know while you are investing you are also taking the appropriate steps to hedge risk so, I mean, put it this way, uh, I'm sure some of you viewers out there, they drive. Now, driving, okay, what you have in the driver's seat in front of you is the airbag. Mm -hmm. Now, this airbag is 100% lost if you never had an accident. So, why do you have the airbag? Would you rather have the airbag or not? So, you tell me, yes, I still want the airbag, even though I may never use it, I don't ever want to use it. So, that is your hedge against risk. So, when you are investing, you also need to make sure you have the right airbags and of which there are many many asset classes that can act like an airbag. 
So although you are not fully eliminating risk, you are mitigating it by a certain amount. So it's like when you drive, yes, you naturally you can still end up in an accident through no fault of yours. But the airbag is there to mitigate the damage to your car, to yourself, you know. So the right airbags will make sure that even when you invest with risk, you have the right uh, things in place in case anything happens to your portfolio. Yes, okay, so so another way right uh, that uh, I I actually do right is example uh, if let's say I'm the Starbucks uh, fanatic, I'm I always love uh, to, to drink Starbucks, okay? Yeah. I might want to look at the stocks sometimes. Yes, that's okay, so, another thing. So you drink so much Starbucks, you better look at the stocks. Yes. So if you like McDonald's, okay, every day you're eating uh, McDonald's, every week you're eating McDonald's, you take a look at the McDonald's stocks, okay? Uh, what if okay the company is on the we uptrend? What if this company is a growth stocks, and you are the you are the consumer, okay? So if you are also the shareholder, if you are if you are also the shareholder, okay, you might actually. Uh, also, you know, maybe along the way, when you are consuming this product, when you are using this product, you are also uh, having uh, like some uh, profits, okay, coming in as a shareholder, okay. So, so for the people who are new to investment, okay, basically, uh, I, I would just want to uh, ask uh, ask you, okay, take a look at what you are spending, okay. Uh, like example, recently one of the uh, one of one of famous brand. Uh, is you see everybody wearing right? Is this come this uh, brand called Fila? Do you see that? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this stock right? Okay, is actually going up. Uh, you know, all the while. Okay, for yeah. the past one two years. Okay. So if you go and find out, okay, what is the mother company of uh, Fila? You know, and you know, you get interested with uh, the stock as well. Okay, and sometimes you realize, okay, uh, even you know, people are wearing Nike everywhere, and Nike is just doing well. Uh, McDonald's is doing well. Starbucks is doing well over the past ten years. Okay, and you might actually, uh, this type of uh, what we call the investment might actually offset your spending okay, if you pick the right one. Lah. Okay, so, yep. And uh, anything else? Anything? Yeah, no, it's gonna be a journey. It's not overnight. That's yes. trading. We're talking about investing. So it starts with you willing to make that sacrifice, no matter how small, but still a sacrifice. So naturally, for most people off the bat, they may say like, uh, Elijah's spending a thousand and investing two. I can't just do that. Mm -hmm. And I agree, uh, it's not for everyone to do it at my level. But I would say that, uh, you know, you can start by doing two, three, four hundred. And, and that will actually help. You build it over time. Yeah, okay, we, have a, we have a call coming in. So we will see you next time. Yep. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this.